you're a music producer. Many people think the only way that you can be successful is by getting major placements with all your favorite big name artists. However, if you've been on YouTube at all for the past decade, you may know that there are tons of producers who are making a full-time living off of their music without being in the traditional music industry. They find a way to generate income by taking advantage of social media platforms like YouTube and Instagram and focus on using them to build an engaging audience. Should you as a music producer consider being a content creator? Whenever you tell someone that you're a music producer or a beat maker, the first question that they often ask is, have you ever worked with any major artists? Some people think that's the only way that you can be successful. Only you can determine what a successful career in music looks like, but if your goal is to be able to generate enough income to pay your bills off of your craft, then there are several other routes that you can take. One of them that's becoming more popular is being a content creator. There are tons of producers like Curtis King, Kyle Beats, Eldre, DJ Payne One, Team Producer Grind, and many more who make videos on topics that music producers will be interested in. And not only do they earn money directly from YouTube's AdSense program, but also do products and services that they offer, as well as brand and affiliate deals with other companies. As a matter of fact, there are several cases where producers who take this route actually can generate even more income than the producers who are getting played on the radio with all your favorite artists. Now let's go over some of the benefits of being a content creator. One of the best parts about creating content in general is being able to share your story with the world. One of the reasons why people enjoy watching TV, movies, and even other YouTubers is being able to follow someone's story and see how they evolve over time. If you have a story to tell or if you just want to document your progress as a music producer, that's one of the best reasons to get started with making content. And when it comes to the business side of things, if you have product or services that you want to sell, whether it's beats, sample kits, courses, mixing and mastering, you're more likely to have success if you build an audience of people who have a demand for those products and services and even start building trust with them. For a lot of people, that could work better than just putting your product online and hoping that people just stumble on your website and buy from you. Think about how you purchase shoes from companies like Nike. You buy from Nike because you're familiar with the company, you trust the product, and maybe you even resonate with their message. If a company that you didn't know put out the exact same shoe as Nike, even if it was more affordable, you're still most likely going to pick the Nike shoe because you're already familiar with that company. The exact same principle applies to you as a music producer. As you build an audience as a content creator and start building trust with them, if you have products or services that you want to offer them, they'll be a lot more likely to purchase them from you. As you build an audience as a content creator and add value to them and start building trust with them, they'll be a lot more likely to buy your products or your services from you since they resonate with your message, resonate with your content, and can even resonate with you just as a person as well as your story. Furthermore, in general, whether your goal is to get major placements with artists or if you want to take more of an entrepreneurial route, create content, and also sell your own products, if your income relies 100% on getting placements with major artists or even if it relies 100% off of, let's say, getting YouTube ad revenue. It may be difficult to make your ends meet. But let's say a percentage of your income comes from placements, another percentage of it comes from YouTube, another percentage of it comes from selling courses, and another percentage comes from brand deals. Even if one of them happens to be low for a month, or even if one of them just disappears altogether, you'll be less likely to be at risk because you'll have other sources of income covering up for the ones that may be falling off for that month. So now let's go over some reasons why you may be hesitant to be a content creator. Of course, just like with making beats, creating content is not for everyone. You'll have to spend time learning how to plan, film, and edit videos. Also, I'm aware that many of us as producers are introverted, which can lead to us being camera shy, and some of us may not be comfortable with putting our face in front of a camera and then sharing it to the world. With that being said, even if you're the type of producer who has no interest in being a content creator and only wants to get major placements, at some point you're still going to have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations, get yourself out of your comfort zone, and talk to people that you don't know. So while creating content can be difficult at first, after you get past the initial hurdles, it can benefit you in the long run. To wrap up this video, let's summarize why music producers should consider being content creators. If you want to document and share your story with other like-minded producers, as well as music lovers in general, and if you don't mind learning how to film and edit videos, then you may enjoy being a content creator. Also, if you have products or services that you want to offer, such as beats, sample kits, courses, one-on-one -on -one coaching, or pretty much any other product or service that you can think of, one of the ways that you can generate leads and build trust with your potential clients is by making videos that add value to them. While there are producers who make a good amount of money solely off of getting major placements, for most people, it's going to be difficult to live off of that source of income alone, and it's a good idea to branch out and try out different methods to generate income. If you're considering making content as a music producer, but you're on the fence, Use this video as a sign to take the big leap. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, if you're a music producer who needs one-on-one -on -one coaching on anything involving music production, such as making beats, tips on using Logic Pro, finding artists to work with, or anything music production related in general, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one consultation services through my website, lmrkeyproductions.com. So if you need any one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, you can click the link in the description of this video to schedule a session. Now go down in the comment section below and let me know what's holding you back from being a content creator. My name is El Marquis, El Marquis Productions. God bless.